What's up everybody, Joe Major here from i47 Studios and we are in my house at the moment. So we are gonna be recording videos from here for now on and we're gonna have this backdrop with all the Disney stuff, that's gonna change to Pokemon within the next year. So we still have the studio, we're gonna do uh, 335 live videos and everything in there. So don't worry about it, but today we are really concerned we get in this Champions Path box. Basically, we still gotta get two of those Charizard cards. We got a brand new box, comes with two promo cards, five packs, two pins, and I'm ready. Let's open it up. All right, guys, so we're going all in for Champion's Path today. I'm excited. We're going to pull one of these Charizard cards. So I got this particular special pin collection box and a couple of double V boxes also right here. So let's see what we got today. We have Colossal and Lapras promo cards. So these are the Sword and Shield 54 and 51 promo cards. Comes with the two pins. Ch or Churchester, um, I'm not sure exactly the two gems. You know, didn't really care to remember them uh, while playing the game, but you know what, actually, let's take a look on the back before we go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically we have Churchester. Am I saying that right? Uh, when you visit this gym, uh, you will find either a Rock Steady uh, Gordy or Colossal, or I guess uh, Melanie or her Lapras. Um, I wonder if it's different for both games, because I don't recall ever playing her in Pokemon Sword. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with, uh, this is definitely different for both games. And let's see, uh, let's see what we can get because she, I've never faced. I know for a fact I have never faced her. And okay, I guess that's basically what we're doing with it. You know, I don't like that concept where you change the gym leaders depending on the game. You know, I, I, I don't know. To me, like I'm kind of, I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it because it's like I want to be able to face this one particular gym leader, but I can't because I have the other Pokemon games. So you want me to go all the way through and play another game just to, uh, just to see if it'll work. No, no, screw that, screw that. Okay, so trying to take this out might actually be a little bit more difficult. So we have the two cards right here. Oh man, how are they packaging? Okay, oh, so they're just pop-outs. That's weird. There we go. Okay, getting the two cards. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. We got Colossal Promo. Is there any, uh, you know, error print lines? I don't necessarily see so, but as far as I'm concerned, it's got a little cartoonish vibe to it. Not bad. As far as centering goes, eh, not bad. But the Lapras, though, uh, as far as the TCG game goes, you may put two energies attached to your opponent's active Pokemon in their hand. Wow. Um, for just for 70 attack, I feel like you can get so much more, uh, you know, damage with different Lapras cards. So I'm not really buying that one. So and I appreciate you guys taking the time to, uh, you know, check out this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We do Pokemon openings a few times a week. We will have an official schedule soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but we are just on a uh, tight schedule and trying to find out what we can do that best suits all the viewers. Okay, so we have these two pins. One that basically looks like the Coors, uh, Coors Light Mountain, and another one that looks like the Aggro Crack uh, from, you know, Global Guts. If anybody remembers that show, shout out to 90s kids. So I'm going to go with uh, definitely those. Now, let's actually go ahead and turn this light because I want to make sure we can get the best possible clarity for you guys. So we have a studio set up at home. Basically, what happened was uh, the traveling and everything just got a little too much. And I said, you know what? Let me try and set something up at home. So I moved most of the studio equipment to... Let me show you guys the code card for you special fans. And, uh, you know, I moved everything. So, yeah. Basically, uh, the i47 Studios itself is still up and running, and we have uh, the 335 Live. We're going to be doing games and everything from it, but as of right now, I figure the Pokemon would just be easier to do from home, so what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to change that entire background. We're going to get a whole new camera set up, so this is just temporary. we got a Lycanroc, Holographic, not bad for Champion's Path for the first uh, pull, so I'll throw that right there, and you know what? I like it. I appreciate the setup, so it's uh, very nice, very cozy. You know, especially, you know, working from home. So that's going to be great instead of having to travel. And I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate everything that they're doing for me and I couldn't be happier. So let's go ahead and try and pull uh, some of these, you know, Charizard cards. The odds are going to be very slim. If we do, I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. But we got Machamp, we got Sizzlepeed. Okay, so we've got a Water Energy. This is the Reverse Rare Water Energy, which I absolutely love. And because for the sole purpose, I'm Master Set Collecting for every set. So this is a necessity. They got plenty of print line errors. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just make sure that is in focus. And we got Professor's Research Magnolia, non, or no, I'm gonna say non-holographic all the time, but it's a holographic. So you only get five Champions Path cards in these. This box retailed at $24.99, basically an extra $5 from double V boxes. And wow, this is completely, you guys can see completely warped. 
Damn. Okay, let's try and uh, try and see if we can get anything good. So let's see if this box now probably is going for forty dollars on eBay at best. I gotta definitely sit there and say that it has to be um, at minimum. Oh, Graplog V. Okay, perfect. So this is the first time pulling this card. So into the Master Set Collection, you will see at the scroll at the bottom exactly what it's going to be worth. But we don't have this in the Master Set Chase. This is beautiful. So honestly, this is probably the one card that we're gonna get out of this entire box. But we are pulling Champions Path today. Let's go ahead and do it. We've already opened up the Elite Trainer boxes. We've opened up the Dub Wall. I am ready. So I'm gonna shoot and say maybe that is probably the best pull you can get out of one of these. Cause it seems that, you know, honestly, I, I think one out of every four seems to be, you know, a full art or a rare card that is, you know, intentionally, you know, not a Charizard. And it just seems hard. It seems hard pulling these Charizard cards, man. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. But I want to do it. And Galarian Obstagoon, which at this point you should just call him Obstagoon. So, like I said, Champion's Path comes with pulls for every single pack, man. You get a holographic in every pack. And that's the best part. That's the most exciting part. So, last pack of the entire uh, Churchester. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I, you know, these UK names, I'm not really getting down. So, let's go. Energy. We got the Rotom Phone. We got Absol. And like I said, I appreciate you guys taking the time to view this. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Joe Major. I am employed at i407 Studios, which is the main hub for all things that we do. 335 Live, uh, the Pokemon All Talk Power Rangers podcast, Well Damn Radio will be coming back. It was a podcast that we did back in the early, uh, you know, 2010s, uh, 2016, you know, 2015 uh, area. So let's go ahead and throw that right to the side and get back into champion's path double v boxes so i want to crack these open man i want to enjoy them i want to enjoy all the champion's path that we have we got packs on packs but i want to keep giving back to you guys to see what we got in these and if we pull that charizard i'm going to absolutely lose it so here's the, uh, the double v i'm going to leave that right in there for now uh the full art card which honestly i've seen better centering on this card than most of the other ones yeah so anyway we still got four more champions path uh, packs. Here we go. Enjoy that code for the double. Uh, it seems to be the most common one you can get is the double V box next to the pin collections, which we will be doing in a later video and showcasing everything that it is with them. But as far as, like I said, if this is your first time to a channel, we do Pokemon openings every week. We do a new series, which is, you know, us traveling. So we have fun doing that. And we will be doing a lot more different things, you know, come the holidays. So just stay tuned. We appreciate it. If you guys have seen the newest video that we put up that is absolutely going, uh, you know, rampant in releases because I did a video on uh, Champion's Path. Like, where is the Champion's Path inventory for the stores and retail? And that video is just going, you know, everywhere that we could imagine. And I appreciate Hey, Graplog V, speaking of which. <laughs> so we got the normal, uh, you know, Graplog V. But I appreciate everybody that has taken the time to view that, and especially with all the likes uh, and shares and subscribes for it, man. It's exactly what we needed for the motivation for this channel to get started when we started this right before the pandemic, not knowing about the pandemic, and we appreciate all the love and support. So like I said, my name is Joe Major, and I am a Pokemon Master Set collector. I have been collecting cards since I was young, and unfortunately had a house fire many years ago. Lost every single card in that particular, we got the two cards right here. Uh, lost every single uh, card that was my original base set, my jungle fossils, uh, that were in the mint conditions. Uh, we had received some of them back that were absolutely destroyed, and we just unfortunately, the uh, restoration center had to toss them. There was nothing more we could do. They had to throw them out because they were in that bad of shape, and they smelled like smoke and everything. So when Hidden Fates and Unified Minds came out, I said, this is the time for me to get back into it. And I've never regretted it ever since. And I said, okay, well, this should be the time where, uh, let's see, I want to say the pr it was probably the perfect time to get back into it. And hop, full art. There we go. Just uh, draw three cards, but this is a beautiful full art card. One of my favorites uh, for just playing in the game because the support card, you just get three cards. Um, the centering is really off on the front. Uh, definitely off on the back as well, but I like that. That was definitely worth it. And you know what the funny thing is? It's actually going to cost me about, minus the two Charizard cards, $100 on average to probably pull, uh, or I'm sorry, to probably just complete the master set for Champion's Path. So that's going to be a pain in the neck. But like I said, you notice how that there's one full art card, full art card in every single, um, you know, like a double box or like the uh, Churchester box. And there is another box. We had the Marnie ones coming. 
So let's go ahead and let's just enjoy this and open up some Pokemon cards and just talk about what we enjoy. And that is hopefully pulling a Scrafty. Yeah, not too crazy. Okay, so I got another double V box. And if you don't pull anything, I might just crack into some more stuff. You guys know the rules by now. You guys have been coming to these videos for, wow, six months already? It's been six months since the channel launched. So there we go. We got the double V. Well, that right there might just end up giving uh, some of those away. Four more packs and another code card for you guys to enjoy. Wow. All right. So at least I have a new desk now that I'm able to just, uh, you know, organize everything. So we got four more champions path and I enjoy it. So if anybody has seen the biggest news in Pokemon going today, which is obviously the stuff that has been, uh, you know, going viral with Logan Paul and the rapper or former rapper Logic. I didn't know he was a former rapper. Actually, I've never even heard of the guy. So that was complete news to me. And I want to do a video on what is going on with the status of the Charizard at the moment, because I think Logic overpaid completely. And, ooh, Fire Energy Reverse Swear. I absolutely love that. And Galarian Obstagoon again. So I think he overpaid. I I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I think he overpaid and he absolutely killed the market for the first generation, uh, first edition cards. First gen, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I I'm sorry, but I gotta, I, I appreciate what he was doing for, uh, you know, the Pokemon community or he was doing for himself as a hobby. But that auction, I planned on buying one this year because in 2019, that card was worth $55,000. And what is mind blowing to me is that he went ahead and spent do almost double the amount of money that Logan Paul purchased it from Gary. And I don't understand why. You know, I really don't. Gardevoir V, full art. There we go. We are actually getting this master set pretty much complete by now. Awesome. So these double boxes are pretty much your good chances. It seems like, again, you're guaranteed, on average, at least one V, uh, you know, full art card. So I'm hoping that's the case. If it's not the case, then, you know, we'll see what happens. But again, with these elite trainer boxes, man, they are just going so fast. And I can't believe exactly, uh, you know, we have plenty of them, but I can't believe what they're going for in auction, man. It is, it is absolutely nuts. And trying to sit here and tell you guys that yeah, they are out of stock. They really are. We check, you know, the inventories every night. We check the distribution. We check the, you know, the retail uh, sales. What I am probably going to end up doing is eventually when the i 7 Studio store launches, which is going to be an exciting thing, we will have preset master set uh, like kits. You know, for each, uh, for at least for the newer ones, that of all the extra that we have, where you get a chance, if you want to start your own master set chase, we're going to basically get like a uh, starter kit for you. So it's going to include like one of every common card, one of every uh, uncommon card, a uh, couple hollows if need be, you know, just so you guys don't have to worry about like the BS ones. If you want to go ahead and start off just collecting like another Galarian Obstagoon, if you guys want to start off and just collecting uh, simple cards. You know, like I want to, I don't necessarily want to buy the packs. I just want to buy one of each card and get that taken care of. But let's go ahead and actually crack open a, another double V box because I think we're having pretty good luck with these. I think we're having pretty good luck. Now I have stacks of them. We were able to get them from our distributor and our wholesaler. So I appreciate it. And they were able to send them. So to anyone's like, oh, well, what Target did you go to? What Walmart did you go to? Good luck. I did, however, was able to find four boxes, though, of Double V um, at a local Target, and I actually did end up picking them up for myself, and I really didn't get anything good out of them. So, as far as these, these are all the packs that we had promised from the beginning that finally took the time and showed up, and another Double V. Yeah, so trying to get the packs individually, you can't, because they don't come with, like, normal blisters. They just come, Champion's Path, regular. And, you know, in these four packs. And that's the thing, man. That's the kicker. Is that we're trying to... Uh, if they made single blisters, oh, forget it. They would be completely out of stock. So we got Bead. We got Galarian Zigzagoon. Machamp. These are basically the same 73 cards all over again. There's nothing too crazy other than the pulls that we have a guaranteed pull for each particular card. We got Altaria. Like I said, it, you know what? You're guaranteed the cards. I appreciate it. But we've opened up what? It's got to be at least... Uh, I don't know, like 10 packs or something. How many more packs until we finally get a Charizard card? Hidden Fates, it took me over, I want to say over $2,000 and 1,000 packs before I finally made up my mind and said, you know what? I, I'm not going to spend more money into Hidden Fates. The Master Set is complete. I'm just going to go ahead and buy the Charizard. And at the time, I actually purchased it for $200. So that was actually really good. 
So went ahead and grabbed that. And again, another Galarian Obstagoon. How many of these cards do you need? We're probably gonna end up just giving these, you know, definitely away in the uh, giveaway Tuesdays. And as long as we get the videos to launch on Tuesday, I know it's been a very, very tough schedule, especially with the coming holiday season. So that is actually uh, one of the big things and just knocked over all those cards. That would be fun. Okay. So, and I enjoy doing the card trick for these ones because again, you're guaranteed a hollow in every single one. So it's not like you can look at the back of the card and be like, oh, well, it's a green pack. Maybe I won't get anything, which is not always the case. So we have had a couple of packs where we didn't know what was going to be in it. We got Nicket and then we got a Lycanroc holographic again. So out of that last particular uh, double box, I don't think we actually got a holographic uh, V card, but uh, definitely spent more than 60, <laughs> we've definitely spent over $100 worth of Champions Path already in this particular video. So I know everybody's probably looking at these the Elite Trainer boxes and uh, saying like, Joe, just open one of those. You know what? Uh, I want to, I really want to. But we want to actually, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're actually going to give one away. So that is going to be the, uh, you know, one of the prizes to a couple of, uh, you know, lucky Team 407 fans, man. We appreciate all the love that you guys give us. And let's hope for something. And we got a Hatterene holographic. Man, oh, what a bummer. Yeah, what a bummer. So we have all of these. But you know what? I'm trying to think. Should we take the chance? And should we open up an elite trainer box? Should we open up one of the elite trainer boxes, man? Ah, it's such a tough call. Such a tough call. So we got all of the holographics that we have pulled right here. And the elite trainer box, man. Do we want to take that risk and possibly get a Charizard? You know what? I say so. Let's go ahead. Let's crack this open. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's just get it. You know what? Hopefully we can pull one of the good Charizard cards. Like I said, any of the three at this point. So, oof, this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna see if $50 is going down the drain or if it's actually not. But let's go ahead and check this down. Let's run it through what we got in this master set chase. Okay, so it's basically all the cards that we have going. We have the Venusaur that we still, I think I might need, don't need. We have the Incineroar V. Uh, we got the Guard of War, Gun of War VMAX. As far as basically the main cards, we're we're already done. The Delurdon, I don't know if I have a Delurdon, Delurdon. But these are the two that we are waiting for, the Charizard V and the Charizard VMAX. Both, on average, TCG players going about $500. I already got the Suspicious Foods in. I uh, already got the Guard of War V. Got the Graplock. Got the Dreadnought. Got the Hop. Got the Guard of War V regular. Um, or actually, I don't know. Yeah, did I, I got the Gold Max. So... Let's go 10 more packs and whew, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Take this, throw it off, and oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be nervous. 10 more packs of Champions Path. And you know what the funny thing is, is that I'm sitting on so much Champions Path products that I personally think that there is a char I wanna think that there's a Charizard card in here. But when I actually got a See, the centering is still off on these Charizard cards. I'm going to get them all graded, but you can just tell that there is just something like, something off with them. I have not seen a Charizard card that I think would actually get a BGA, or BGA, say a PSA uh, Beckett, so a BGS uh, Pristine. I don't see one ever getting it because these, I don't know, the centering is just awful on them. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can crack open just one more great pull for today. Like I said, it's not like we have a no limit, but no budget challenge, which we basically we do. It's, you know, we can order whatever we want and, you know, we open it up for you guys because that's what I'm getting paid to do. So the fun thing about that is we are going to try and focus on Champions Path for the next couple more videos. If not, then we have uh, Vivid Tackle or Volt Tackle or Electrifying Tackle, Vivid Voltage. Uh, whatever that new set is, because we are going to show you a preview of it. We got it right here, a booster box for the new upcoming Vivid Voltage set. So I believe that's what it's called. I think I, I think I would know this at this point. No, but I've seen three different names for that particular set, and that's why I can't tell. And you know what's even funny is that I'm going through these Elite Trainer boxes, and I'm like, okay, I do have a bunch, but do I want to go ahead? Like, I got one in the case for myself for, like, years later. I got a few that are right here down below that, you know, if anybody's looking to buy one that we could possibly try and sell to you. And we got Nicket, Machop, and I am burp. I just had a beautiful New York Strip steak. Eldegoss V. So this was actually one of the cards I didn't have. Perfect. So there we go. Eldegoss V. So this is strictly a Champions Path opening. 
as you guys have said, if you were just tuning into the video, my name is Joe Major. We do Pokemon openings every week, and we are basically the AEW of Pokemon openings. We are just in a whole new league that is coming in, and we're ready to dominate this entire Pokemon market and this entire Pokemon community because we are striving and we are headed straight for the top. But we can only do that if we pull one of these great cards. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, we got another Machamp and a Galarian Obstagoon. That's probably like the 10th one today. Uh, just another one that we have. And moving all these cards along. And it's so funny to think that maybe, just maybe, there is one Charizard card that would basically... Put it this way. With the amount that we spent on Elite Trainer Boxes, and if we spent 10 of them, and on average 10 would be... Um, okay, let's just say it was $500. If we just pulled one of those cards, not only would the investment come back full circle but it would be completely worth it. And then I'd end up probably just saving the rest of the inventory for years to come. But we got another Altaria regular holographic. Actually, what I'm more excited is that I'm gonna go through these later tonight and every single one of the reverse rares to put into the master set. And we'll do an update on the master set to show you guys exactly where we're, uh, where we're at on it. You know, cause I'm not missing that many cards, but I would love to see what we got in these elite trainer boxes. Cause there are so many different possibilities so many different things and the odds from the charizard cards are coming from the elite hey the god of war v perfect the elite trainer boxes and like i said i only like to collect on average um if i'm blessed with the second one i am but if god gave me the strength to actually just you know have one of each card i would love that because that's the purpose to be like oh if somebody pulled it be like i already got one you know i already completed the set you know it's just it's a field of accomplishment to be you know one of the few people that definitely are um, able to say, like, I own every set of that particular, uh, you know, expansion pack or expansion pass. So another Lycanroc. I swear we're going to end up just giving some of these hollows away because this is just getting ridiculous at that point. Yeah. What do we got? We got three more packs. Hopefully we can pull something of value. Otherwise, whoever would have bought this Elite Trainer back, uh, Elite Trainer box in later years would have been disappointed. So I'm actually glad that we were able to go through this. I hope for my sake it was actually, you know, coincidentally the one that we, uh, you know, pulled something great in. And we got Rockruff and another Glary Hops the Good. I am so sick of seeing it. I'm also sick of seeing him in Pokemon Go, to be honest. They are hatching from, at least these Glary and Zigzagoon are hatching from uh, the gift eggs, like the 7K gift eggs. So that's what you're getting them from. And they have made for, I tell you, for such an abundance of Champion's Path, Man, they really have to start, uh, like, I guess, like, giving us better pulls. I don't want to say it like that, but, like, no, like, another Zygrim or, you know, Zygarde, whatever he's going by. Yeah, so we got two more packs left of this Elite Trainer box. Like I said, you open up the box, and you already get the Charizard V-Card, which is already worth it on the full art side. So, let's go ahead, and hopefully two more packs, and I am praying that we can get this at least get one of these pulls. All right, so we got the four cards, and you can see right here, there's actually more damage, actually, on one of the cards already. But you can just tell these Elite Trainer Boxes, man, you might find them. You might be static. You're like, yo, I'm going to pull this Charizard. It might not happen. You got to be realistic. You know, not everyone is guaranteed to come with, and I think that's why they went ahead and guaranteed everyone, just like the Hidden Fates, with those particular cards, is because they wanted to make sure there was a selling point to them. The trifecta of the Legendary Birds... Um, that was a great card. I do have a PSA 10 one, uh, one that I pulled, I was able to submit and it came back PSA 10. So I was perfect. I'm content with that. I don't need another one. You know what I mean? Like I have mine and last pack of the day. So guys, let's go ahead and try and end on a high note. Last pack magic, Roly Coley, Galarian Zigzagoon, Weedle, Purloin, Pokeball, Scraggy, and Professor's Research. All right. So we got Professor's Research, but let's go ahead and take a look at all the pulls that we got. I tell you what, for about a hundred and how much did we spend? We opened up probably what two double V boxes. Oh no, we opened up uh looks like four. I don't know how much we opened. All right, so let's go with two sets. So about forty dollars retail, fifty dollars for the box. So we did a couple of hundred dollars, if not almost, in today's polls. So all right, Professor's Research. Let's go through this because we got a lot. Professor's Research. We got a Dark Reverse Energy. We got a Machamp, Zygrid, Galarian Obstagoon again. We got the Lycan Rock. Uh, the Gardevoir V, which is one of the big ones that we were missing. Altaria, we got Galarian Obstagoon again. All right, the Eldegoss V, which I think is also a reprint from Sun and uh, Sword and Shield uh, base set. Scrafty, Hatterene, Lycanroc, 
uh, there was a potion I left in there. The two promo cards from the beginning, which are basically the main cards that you want to get from that particular set. That's what you're looking for as far as the promo chase goes. Galarian Opsigoon, Altaria, another Galarian Opsigoon. Mm -hmm. The Garnivore V Full Art, beautiful card. All right, the Fire Energy, so that's going to help uh, for the Energy Reverse Rares. Scrafty, we got the Hop Full Art. Dark Energy, have a couple of those already. The Graplock V, Lycanroc. Uh-huh. All right, and the Graplock V. <sighs> Beautiful full art. So that will actually save me money from uh, going to try and buy it myself. We got the Professor's Research and a Lycanroc with print line errors right above it. So, guys, that is all she wrote today. And I am so happy because no matter what, we ended up pulling, regardless, a 50 to 40,000. 40,000, I wish. I absolutely wish. A <laughs> a 50 to 60 dollar card which was the price of how much almost we spent today if graded it's going to come back it's always charged that they're worth the amount they're printed so trust me it's all worth it in the end all right guys if you want to see more pokemon related content you can do so floating in the eye above me or search for me on instagram with the little thing that scrolls across the bottom of the screen kind of like an espn sportscaster i don't know what you want to consider it but if you want to see us pour more <laughs> double of cards and a bunch of random hollows we have plenty of extras or or if you want to see us hopefully get that chance at the Charizard V, guys, you got to hit that subscribe button. You got to like, share these videos. I'm Joe Major from i 47 Studios. We love you, and we will see you next time. Thank you.